In this class, we are going to discuss about carry look ahead adder, which can be designed from four full adders. Here we are going with four bit addition only. As I told you in the last classes, by using n bit parallel adder, the delay is very high. To reduce that, we designed carry look ahead adder to reduce that delay. So now we will see the procedure here without using any carries from a previous adder, previous full adder, we are going to deal carry. So see here, so this is the circuit for carry look ahead adder. Here you can see a combinational circuit for carry generation. So this circuit always uses first carry only. So that's why no need of carries from previous adders. We are just using first carry from this first adder. So always this adder is a LSB adder that means least significant bit adder. So here this is a MSB position adder that means whatever sum here we got thus that bit is a most significant bit. So here I am taking the uh, example for this before that so whatever sum is there for any full adder that sum is equal to AXR, BXR, C. This C is nothing but C in. So that means input carry. So whatever carry that we need to get is CI plus 1 that is, is equivalent to PI, CI plus GI. So here this PI is nothing but uh, carry propagate. So that means AI, XR, BI this we already discussed in last class about carry look ahead adder. So this GI is nothing but carry generate. So this carry generate is equivalent to AI into GI. So BI. So here I am taking an example. So that is I am going to add 1101 with 1011. These are the two four bit, uh, four bit numbers I am going to add. So this is equivalent to A, this I am going to consider as B. So now this bit is equivalent to A1, B1, so A1, A2, A3 and A4 I am considering like this and similarly so this is equivalent to B1, B2, B3 and B4 like this I am considering. So here I am not considering A0. If you want to consider you can consider that A0 also. So now my example is A is a 4 bit number. That 4 bit number I am considering like 1101 and B is a 4 bit number that is equivalent to 1011. These two bits I am going to add. Now I am going to place the a, a values and B values in this circuit diagram. Now A1, B1 is equivalent to 1, 1. I am going to place that A1, B1 here. And now, so 0, 1 I am going to place here. So 0, 1 and then 1, 0. So here is 1, 0. And last input for this circuit is 1, 1. So two high lines we are giving. So two high voltage lines we are giving here. So now, this is the time to get carry from this combinational circuit. So you can see this combinational circuit is started from second full adder onwards. For first full adder, we are not having any input carry or input carry flog is equivalent to 0. Here you can see I grounded this. So whatever carry we are getting here, this carry is internally connected to all the combinational circuits in carry look ahead adder. Now we need to define the value of C1 here. So as we know that full adder sum is equivalent to XR of inputs and carry is equivalent to multiplication and addition of that inputs. So now, so here A1 is equal to 1, B1 is equal to 1, C0 or carry input is equivalent to 0 initially as we connected to ground. So now the sum is equivalent to XR of all these three inputs. So see these three inputs, here you can observe two number of ones as XR gate is a odd one detector. So the output here is equivalent to 0. That means AXR, BXR, C is equivalent to 0. Why? Because you are observing two number of ones is nothing but even number of ones. So XR gate always going to provide 0 when it observes even number of ones. Now you are having your carry. So this carry is equivalent to AB plus BC plus CA. 
so in all cases at least one case is going to provide one means obviously the carry is equivalent to one so here in a b case you are getting one into one case that means you are getting one so obviously without taking c a or b c values you are going to get this carry as one so you know that full ladder carry is equivalent to a b plus b c plus c a so in that addition a b value is equivalent to one so that's enough to take uh, c1 as one so now with this c1 reference we are going to deal the remaining carries by using this combinational circuits now for this combinational circuit what may be c2 here so here you are having input from this combinational circuit as carry in so here you need to discuss about c2 so you just place one in this uh, c i plus one you are going to get c2 here so see here i am going to deal with c2 so c2 is equivalent to i am just placing one in i place so that is equivalent to p1 c1 plus g1 so this is nothing but c2 that means output from this combinational circuit but we know that pi is equal equivalent to ai xr bi so p1 is equivalent to a1 xr b1 so this is p1 and g1 is equivalent to a1 into b1 as uh, gi is equivalent to ai into bi i am taking g1 is equal to a1 into b1 so now see here you know the values of a1 and b1 so previously you are having a1 and b1 that values you need to connect in this combinational circuit so i am not taking that connection in this circuit i am just representing that we are having a connection here so to take out the complexity of the circuit i am not representing in this diagram but internally we are having connection from a1 to here that's why i represented a1 here so for that combinational circuit which is providing this second carry so that is having connection with both a1 and b1 and c1 from here so now c uh, the c2 value here so when you are exiting this a1 and b1 one xr1 is always equivalent to zero so p1 value is equivalent to zero into c1 means here you are having c1 plus g1 means a1 into b1 so a1 into b1 means again is equivalent to one so as a1 b1 values are one one you are getting one here now zero into one you are getting zero plus one means again you are getting one whatever it may be here you are getting c2 is equal to one from this combinational circuit so now after getting one from this combinational circuit what may be the output of this full ladder now again for some you are getting xr of all inputs so if you take in xr of all inputs see here 0 1 1 are given as input for this second full ladder so this full ladder to get the sum if you take in xr of all those inputs again you are getting 0 why because here even number of ones are presented so again s2 place you are getting 0 so now come to third step no need to get carry here why because no need of that carry to give this for this full ladder because we are uh, not taking reference of previous carry we are generating ourselves for this full ladder so now i am generating carry for this full ladder by using uh, second combinational circuit so here to get the c3 so i am just placing i value as 2 so here i am placing i value as 2 and p2 c2 plus g2 i am getting so p2 g2 plus c2 means so c3 is equal to p2 c2 plus g2 so now here this is equivalent to p2 in place of c2 as we know that so p1 c1 plus g1 we can place this plus g2 i am writing here now the value is equivalent to p1 p2 c1 plus p2 g1 plus 
g2 this is the value of c3 now we are going to take that value by using given values so now p1 p2 i am going to take p1 is nothing but a1 xr b1 a1 xr b1 is equal to 0 so if anything in this multiplication is 0 total value in this is equal to 0 so now coming to p2 so p2 is nothing but a2 xr b2 so 0 xr1 is equal to always 1 but when coming to g1 you are going to multiply a1 into b1 so g1 is always multiplication of a and b p is always xr of a and b so reference is added to the a and b values so here g1 means a1 into b1 so 1 into 1 means here you are taking 1 as i told you in addition any one value is equal to 1 means total value you are getting 1 so see here this multiplication term is 0 but this multiplication term is going to provide 1 so in these three terms if any one is equal to 1 then total value is going to be 1 according to boolean algebraic theorems so now according to this formula we generated c3 as 1 so that means here you are having 1 from this combinational circuit now see here what may be the output of this full adder so now the output of this full adder is also equal to 0 because you are observing two ones as input as xr gate is a odd one detector if you observed any even number of ones then your sum output is equal to 0 no need to calculate carry here because there is no use of that carry to give to the next full adder now we are in the final step so that is equal to uh, fourth carry that is c4 now if you want to derive fourth carry what may be the equation means here you need to take 3 in place of 5 so here i am taking 3 in place of 5 so i am getting c4 here so p4 and p3 and c3 plus g3 may be the value of this c4 as you know that p3 is equal to some value equal to a3 xr b3 now i am going to take the value of c3 here so c3 is equal to i am taking c3 value again so that means p2 c2 plus g2 as c2 is equal to p1 c1 plus g1 plus g2 so this is equal to we know the c3 value same c3 value i am going to take here so that means p3 into c3 value i am going to consider here p1 p2 c1 plus g1 so again you are having this multiplication factor and g2 so this total value i am considering here see here so now i multiplied inside and i considered this g2 total value i considered as c3 and plus g3 you are having so what may be the total value here means here you are having p1 p2 c1 and p3 again i am multiplying inside so here g1 into p2 into p3 so here g2 and p3 finally you are having g3 now you need to consider the values for each and everything now you know that p1 that means xr of a1 and b1 is equal to 0 if any one value in this multiplication is 0 total multiplication term is going to be 0 now come to p2 and p3 so now p2 is equal to so a2 xr b2 this value is 1 but coming to p3 so this is also equal to 1 a3 xr b3 this is also equal to 1 coming to g1 so g1 means so a1 into b1 so total all these are ones all these are ones means when we multiply three ones you are getting one so if any one term in this addition is equal to one obviously you are going to get c4 as one so now you are getting your combinational circuit output as one now see here 
to get S4 that means final sum you need to take XR of all these three inputs. So, if you observe three ones in uh, full adder input you can take this sum as one because as XR gate is a odd one detector here if you observe odd number of ones definitely the output of this S4 is equivalent to one. Now, this is the time to calculate the carry. Now, carry is equivalent to AB plus BC plus CA. In all cases, you are getting 1. That means, so here carry is equivalent to 1 now. So, in all the cases, you are not depending upon the previous carries. You just depend upon the first carry which is generated by first full adder. So, by this process, you feel uh, some, you are taking some delay. But when you connected the circuit, when you switch on the circuit, all the inputs are going in the same time and you are getting output in the same time. Because any carry output from any combinational circuit is not dependent upon the previous circuits, only dependent upon the first carry. So, here we will cross check the result now. So, we take in uh, two numbers addition A and B. So, I am taking normal addition. 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 again 1 plus 1 you are adding 0 with carry 1 again 1 plus 1 that means 0 with carry 1 you are adding 3 ones in last step so definitely you are going to get 1 with carry 1 you need to get 1 1 triple 0 as output you can see carry out always you need to take as another bit 1 1 triple 0 you got as your circuit output this is the carry look ahead adder by using different combinational circuit for carry generation.